All right, and residents who lost everything to the record rains that we had recently that flooded out Fort Lauderdale, they're now getting hands-on help filing for federal relief funds. Local 10's Andrew Perez is live to show us. Andrew? And there's been a big steady stream of people pretty much all day long at this disaster recovery center here in Fort Lauderdale. The first one that has been put up right now to get one-on-one -on -one attention to help some of these residents, something very much in demand right now. You've done a great job of helping get the word out, so a lot of people have already applied. Signs everywhere leading flood victims to Hort Park in Fort Lauderdale, a disaster recovery center up and running, and as we saw for ourselves, it's a service in demand. A lot of people have gone through a traumatic time, and they want to sit down and talk with someone. These are for last month's flood victims, not only in the city of Fort Lauderdale, but across Broward County. There's in-person help to sign up or follow up on getting federal assistance to bounce back, submitting documentation and answering any questions. More sites like this expected to pop up across Broward. In some cases, FEMA will be able to provide money directly to you if you need help with home repairs or rental assistance or other needs. You may also be referred to SBA to be considered for a disaster loan. You may also be referred to a nonprofit. We had no insurance and our house got 36 inches of water. Irina says her home was a total loss. The cleanup alone was frustrating and this help is essential. They were filling out our application. They were just helping us fill out the application. We have a child, uh, she's eight years old, she's autistic and we have no home to live. We have no relatives here. We have. We have to figure it out from the beginning, from, from scratch. Every day I walk over here. For some, it's a really difficult process. Leopoldo had his niece help him filling out his paperwork, and he's already received his disaster relief funds. He's chipping away at fixing his home and was so proud to show us his master bedroom redone, ready to move the bed back in so he can start working on the rest of the house. So it's easier to start that application, to start the process online, and then come in if you need to. You don't need to make an appointment. Open normal business hours, Monday through Friday. I know there's a lot of information, so many resources, a lot happening, especially for those in the thick of it, trying to balance out life too. That's what we're here for. We've got all the information compiled for you on our website, local10.com. We're in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News.